Hello everyone, I'm Jerome Wright here again on my Jeronification channel. Okay, and um, I'm going to be, in this um, video, I'm going to be decoding two well-known and famous images. And um, you would see them a lot on um, where ancient alien theorists, theorists actually have actually um, says um, this is evidence of um, celestial life forms which have actually traveled to our world from space <clears throat> and um the, and it shows this is showing how man traveled through space and all um which I, I guess I have to give it to him that it might be that might be part true and a lot of these images um shown by our ancestors cave drawings and um, ancient um, art it shows how these objects there were celestial objects were actually a be in air like in um, cry, um, the baptism of Christ by Gelder um, which I decoded that mass in the um, in the air above the um, in that image I've decoded that and I've identified what those objects are that is in that celestial mass a circular mass that is above the um, that image in um by um by Gelder and in the um um the Madonna with the baby Giovanni um that's a f another famous image that has a um a UFO looking object up in the backdrop and I've decoded that as well too I brought that up those both of those images those circular masses in the back in the um that have been identified by as UFOs by the UFO alien theorists and other people um stated that these were UFO objects, um, unidentified flying objects. Um, I have identified them and you can see those on my other channels, on my Geronification channel. I have, um, we're going over a hundred videos now, so um, this is probably, I think is going to be like my 101 video, um, which is absolutely incredible um, based on everything that I'm bringing to you and I'm finding and discovering. Um, now, in this video, this is this is these objects which look like cartoons. There's another this image and this image are very famous. Very famous in um in um in the history of our planet and UFOs which comes to um our world. Now let it be known to people that um this here by decoding these images here um the ones that I did um with ancient biblical times with Christ um the baptism of Christ by Gelder and um also the baby Giovanni um with the Madonna um with that and through to current our UFOs sightings um through to current I have a video where I decoded that I think this pretty much caps our whole ancient, are from our ancient past history of um, UFOs, unidentified flying objects, through to current people that I've identified what all of these UFOs are. I have every every single one of my videos here that references UFOs, and I mean I identified each and every object, so they're not and they're not UFOs no more. You know what I mean? So. Um, my last video with the with the um, with the with the UFOs were that. Um, satellite images, man-made objects in space. Um, I'm not going to go into detail here, but man-made objects in, fa um, in space um, that are um, in orbit with our planet. Um, 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 space capsules, um, space um, and fuel tanks, um, other, and other space junk and satellites. It's my um, position that the radioactive energy of the sun is reflecting images of those objects back through our atmospheric layer and our planet's atmospheric layers and creating a projector an overhead projector like image back onto the um, cloud matter here in our in our air in our airspace and it's given us these these objects that people are now identifying as being um, UFOs and it's almost like a um, a reflective image, in other words, and the way that they take off from one direction and go in the other, and all, is my position that it's all caused by the um, the chemistry and the energy between the sun and that of our um, 
our atmosphere well our, our airspace and um and that creates where we're at with um with the ufos and if you think about it it's it's, it's only logical for the simple fact that notice that ufos from the earliest of times from think about it from since 19 um the 40s early 40s and where we first started sending objects up into space that notice how ufos the identif the identification of ufos actually keep up with the times that they're in i mean like let's just take a 1954 chevy for instance i mean if a person identified a, a, um, a UFO and that, and that what it was a 1954 Chevy. Don't we all notice that the the that object would actually look like in the flying in the, in the air would actually look like that 1954 Chevy? You see what I'm saying? In other words, the times we are in are the likenesses of the UFOs that are being seen, which actually lends to them to the fact that if our capsule that we sent up in space, and let's just say, I'm just going to throw a year out there, people, 1942, look like the capsule and I Dream of Genie, then it's very likely, and I mean, the likelihood is like 99.9% it's like .9 probability that if a person seen a UFO within a two-year span of that time, it actually identifies with that capsule that looks like an I dream of genie that one the land our very first capsules and this is what I'm saying people this can be actually um, 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 equated with all of the UFO sightings over the years for that year that that UFO was being sighted it actually looks like the modernized um, um, properties of the elements are the uh, the the objects that we placed in space the man-made objects that we place in space and this is where we're at here from the from the later objects it seems like the more modern we become and those objects that we have man-made placed in space these are the objects that are being reflected their images being reflected back into our our, um, our airspace and this is what people are seeing okay um now here are our ancient UFOs. I'm going to get away from that. I have a video on that too, by the way, people. Go there. I don't want to go spending too much time talking about that. But I'm going to explain these objects. Okay? As you see some of my little drawings on here too, by the way, people. It's my position that our ancient ancestors knew how we evolved from space. So they actually, as which I found and I have evidence of as well too. I have videos on that. So... It's my position that these are celestial eggs, which where I know they were created, and these objects are shown cut away. It's shown that these celestial eggs are in transit to a planet, meaning in this case our world, because this is where they are actually painted at. I mean, they're painted in in areas on our world for um for um for us to view now it's unfortunate that they're taken out of context by those that do not understand this but through my paranormal experience and encounter i can read this and i can show you not only is this an egg i.e. meteorite um object rock um coming from space to land our world Okay, and it shows you what it is carrying. You see the image of the man there. But I can see a man, a woman, an ape. I see um, 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 a, 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 a lizard in the form which actually represents our, our ancient dinosaur, our reptilian dinosaur. I see a lion. Um, I see a half man, half lion. I see objects in there that are consistent with those seeds of life that actually calls for the um, the ultimate presence of mankind as we are today. Now, you're probably saying, well, Jerome, how are we going to do it? Not only am I going to show it to you here, I'm going to show you what is exactly here in this second ancient alien picture as well. And I'm going to try to attempt to draw them out for you here because... I mean, it's going to be kind of tricky because I'm trying to draw all upside down. But let me show you something. And I'm going to try to compare it to the other image as well, too. Now, in case you don't know what this means, people, these are famous. These are like 
These, this is like the holy grail of UFOs. So to see me sit here and decode this before your face, you're going to, I mean, you have to be impressed in a way that because people for hundreds, I mean, for thousands of years, forget hundreds, for thousands of years, people have been trying to figure out what have been going on with UFOs in our airspace and these type of objects and trying to understand them. People have dedicated their entire life trying to figure these objects out. And here I am, a layperson, through my professed um, 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 paranormal experience and encounter, just, I mean, I'm just, I'm just walking right through this stuff. You know what I mean? So, this is, this is huge, people. If you don't, if you don't realize what this is, Google these images. Go to either um, ancient, um, um, Uf ancient UFOs. Um, go to ancient aliens, go to first UFO sightings, go to drawings of UFOs, and these people are the number one images for our ancient UFOs. Now, if I can show you what is there and telling you that these are eggs from space that landed our world, this is, and, and from microorganism states showing you how these creatures was actually created. People, isn't that huge to you? Doesn't it tell you that I know where you came from and how you were created? Step by step. People, here I am in space. I didn't, I mean, I wasn't in this time. Step by step, I can tell you how we were created. I've, I mean, people, I've been all over the place with my discoveries. You have to see my, 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 um, my, um, my, hundred, my 100 videos, or 101 videos that I have here. They are all key to how we came to be in existence. You know what I mean? You have ancient biblical texts that don't even tell you that. You have ancient, I mean, you have ancient text, period. And none of that tell you how you came to be. It's just a, 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 a unexplained divine explanation. And here I am giving you step by step. Not just how we were created, where we came from, and the creatures that contributed to us being created. I mean, that's huge, people. That's huge. Let me give. Let me. Let me go where we at here. Let me show you what what, what you need to look at. <clears throat> if you Google this image, okay, these are. Let me show you where we at. There is man right there. And wherever you see man, I told you that you have my, 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 in fact, I don't even have to draw on this. I can show you on the one that I already have drawn. The witch-like woman, the Madonna-like woman, who I call the mother of creation. She is right, there's man, she is right here. There's her chin, there's her mouth, there's her nose, there's her eye, and here's her hair right there. See that? Well... Let me make sure that I'm on top of Here's her hair. Right there. Now guess what's in her hair? Her hair creates the face looking this way of guess what people? The ape. Which is partly shielded. With it, with it, um, the mouth would be right here where these two white lines are coming out right there. But this is the top of the head of the ape. There's the eye, and there's the, the bridge of the nose and mouth area right there. So you got ape, woman, and man. Amazing, isn't it? <clears throat> Look at her. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give her to you again. Look, she even has a duck. They even gave her a cheekbone. Um, right there. There's her cheekbone right there. Okay? And there's her nose cleverly encrypted. Well, not encrypted, but cleverly drawn. Her eye. And here's her mouth, people, right there. And there's her chin. That's my witch-like woman, whom I dub as the mother of creation. And here she is, highlighted for you to see. Isn't that amazing, people? Look at that. Take a good look at her, because she is in each and every one of my discoveries. Woman, man, and then there's the ape. There's the bridge of the nose of the ape. There's the ape's eye. And then there's the ape's head, and it's in her hair. The ape is encrypted in her hair. Just like many Renaissance artists have encrypted the same encryption styles. 
I can do this over and over again. And where you notice it's the same exact thing as that. And a lot of the paintings of I found it to be with um oh what's her name uh, uh uh Mary Magdalene with Mary Magdalene whom I found to be um, referenced in um in biblical text as a genetic bridger along with Jesus and her hair you will find a lot of the image and a lot of the ancient Renaissance artist paintings you will find the image of the ape encrypted in her hair as you do here. People, isn't that just amazing? All right. Now, since I have this up, look right here. Oh, gosh. It's hard doing this upside down. There is the image of a lion right there who is actually also a genetic contributor to the becoming of man. I draw the lion out for you, some, somewhat, somewhat, there. There's the lion's eye, there's the lion's head, and the lion's teeth right there. There's the top of the lion's nose, and it shows the lion right there, okay? Now, what is this right here? Well, obviously, if that is a lion, shows you how this man, look, shows you how his hand is, is bridged at the lion's mouth, and then down out here at this man's mouth. Look at that. So it's telling you that there was a bridge. Okay. And just like what I showed you in one of my videos with Hercules and the lion. And the lions. Um, that was about three videos ago. That I showed you where Hercules and the bridging with the, um, with the lion. That's what this is representing right here people. It shows you a genetic link and a genetic bridge between us and the line. Now, what does that man look like? Let me see if I can turn that upside down for you to get another realization of what is happening here. You spin this upside down, people. Okay. And let me show you something here. I wonder if this would go viral. That's what I'm thinking as I'm turning this upside down. This is a very, very famous image. And I wonder if this is go viral. Yeah. Here, turned upside down. Oh, I'm over here. It creates the face. Where, where are we at? Over here. Okay, I'm over here. It creates the face of a reptilian creature. There's the top lip. There's the eye. Look, this is around the forehead. And look, this create look the teeth of the line, which would be coming from this way, turned upside down, creates the bottom teeth for this reptilian-like man right there. Okay, this is his whole image right there. Okay, and it shows you now where did this reptilian man come from? The picture turned upside down shows you our other reptilian ancestor, which is right here. See that big snout of that lizard-looking creature right there? Look at that. There's the entire nose area. There's a the nostril. There's a the nostril. Coming around, there's the mouth. See the mouth line right there, people? And I believe that this it may even be writing right here. I'm, I'm almost convinced that that is, that that is some form of, of, of ancient text or writing right there. Not sure, but I mean, we can leave that up to the scholars now that I'm pointing it out to them. So when this pops, all pops up, because I'm just going to be famous alone for just making this discovery, people. And I kind of thought that it looked like it was writing all over this thing. Like in here, there, and possibly here. I'm not for certain. Okay. I found that to be the case in some of um, Leonardo da Vinci's um, paintings on the face of Christ. And it may be here as well too. I don't know. But look, this is the bottom line of our lizard looking ancestor right here. You see this people? This is a genetic. This is these shows these genetics which calls for the likeness of this guy right here. These are our ancestors, people, and this was an egg that was sent to our world to create life, which ultimately came into the likeness of this guy right here. And I can read not only this, people, on how we got here, but what happened, our evolutionary passage as we got here, which actually calls for the other likenesses of man. And this is what this is all about, and this is what I've been explaining to you the whole time, and everything, every reference that actually touches on how mankind came to be and came into existence in this world I can read it not only from space unto our world 
before there was even a man on our planet, because there are references of it, there are records of it, people, I am paranormally linked to this stuff. If it is there, I'm drawn to it instinctively. And I can sit here and bring it and break it down to you in a way that no one else can because what I'm doing and what I have and what I am experiencing is genuine. Alright? Look at this, people. Look look at this. Look at this. Alright? Now, I promised you, what? there is something else there. i got to, let me see what else I have to, to find there. I know that there was a line. Let me see what else is there. Um... Oh, that lizard-like creature as well, too, you see it there, can be realized another likeness of it. If you turn it around, I did draw um, right here, people. This way, it creates like an ancient fish. And I'm going to show you where that is, too. And plus, on top of that, with the ancient fish also, people, it creates... All right, let me show you something here about this do you see this right there it's going to be hard for me to, to help you realize that but right here I can't even draw that upside down I, I'm going to mess this up right there okay and then I can I come across like right in here this creates a mouth right there and then here coming up through here there is another face right there it creates the face in this in this little bubble right here there's a face right there in that little bubble right there I can't draw it but where that creature evolved from that is one of our ancient ancestors too and I can show you that guy later on I'm not gonna go into explanation but it shows you that that creature evolved from this creature turned upside down and that remind, reminding you that the other way it was a lizard okay now Look at this creature here. In fact, I already have it drawn out, so I'm not going to try to draw it upside down. But there it is. If you look close, there is a eye right there. There's the, the pupil, and then there's the whites of the pupil right there, and then there's the outline of the eye right there. Can you see it now that I show you? Now, now look now look how that, that turned upside down. There's the, the top mouth line there. Now, turned upside down, here's the second mouth line going across here. And remember I told you, right in there, look at that. You know what that is, people? That's one of our ancient fish on our planet. Now, check this out. Look at the worm snaking off here. I mean, it's, it, this, this gets deep, people. I love, I love doing this mess. I'm going to spend the rest of my life doing this. You know what I mean? This is, this is wonderful. That's what that guy looks like uh, right there. Uh, hold on. Let me take my hand off of there. There you go. Let me take my hand away. You see that, people? See that eye? I highlighted it some. That is a fish right there. You see that eye? There's the bottom mouth area of the fish, mouth line, and look at that there. And there is our ancestor that evolved through that. So our mythical beings about half fish, half man, Atlantis, and all of that there, uh, um, let me inform you that a lot of that stuff is true because this same scenario, people, I found in the Grand Canyon, atop the Grand Canyon, in a place that it shouldn't be, and there are sculptures there in the Grand Canyon um, in the form of temples, and I have a video here on that as well, too. And it is signifying the identical thing which is actually being said here on how mankind evolved through these creatures through the waters of our world, onto the lands of our world, and through other creatures. And then there's a cyclonation process where all of these, all of the above is being reintroduced. And the central focus point for all of this is, the strongest point is that of Africa and that of black man, which is the closest creature to that of our ancient ancestor of the ape. And there's a genetic bridging going on. And these genetics are being ran back in and people when I tell you that the story becomes unbelievable it does because through everything is it all is explained through slavery and everything people all of that stuff I can explain through my paranormal experience why it happened why it had to happen who initiated it and I mean the story is is just absolutely incredible and everything that you come to know I can rewrite history in a way that you could never ever even imagine 
I mean, it, I mean, the true part of it. Everything that was missing. Once you put all of those pieces in, the true, the true story is exposed. Okay. Um, let me bring up the other image because everything that I showed you here, the lion, the fish, and all of that, the woman, the ape, all of that stuff is going to appear in this image. Now, people, these are two different images from two different times and from two different parts of the world, but yet they are very much the same. You see this here? Now, we had a reptilian man. I'm going to take this picture down because we're going on 25 seconds here. People, I'm going to tell you something now. I'm going to be upset if y'all don't if y'all don't get me um, viral with this. You know what I mean? Y'all should be Googling everybody and, and, and messaging this out. I mean, especially people that know me. You should be sending this message out to, oh, look, Jerome, the, look at this famous image that, that everybody's been trying to figure out for hundreds and hundreds of years. And here Jerome is on his YouTube channel putting it out there and showing it. And I mean, he's actually showing. I see actually everything that he's showing because people... And nobody has told just for the sake of it just being a man and then a woman next to it and next to him. Nobody has never brought that to you before. And now I'm showing you lions and, 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 and lion men and then explaining them and showing you fish and all of that. People, I'm telling you now, if I don't go viral for this, I might shut down and, you know, say the heck with this and, and, and look and, 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 and go on hiding some damn where. I want to go viral off this, people. And with your help, I should. All right, I'm going to take this down and I'm going to bring up the other image because I'm going to, everything that we have here, we have in a completely different image, people. Now, this, you don't need scholars or scientific verification for because we have two famous UFO pictures, two famous, our number one in our world. And here I am showing you what is there, telling you that these are eggs, seeds of life, so, shown sent onto our world and the life forms that they are carrying and not just that people in sequential order it tells you how these these creatures were introduced into our world into our ocean waters and created that of the likeness of man and then on to land come on people all right i'm going to bring up the next image Here's the other guy here. Now remember, notice that he's looking back. Now I don't already done filled this image in, so you this is not going to be no surprise here. So now that I done, I don't already done brought the image to you. You see my my witch like woman already. I know you got to see it because the man is turned around looking at her. She's back there in the in the half shell there. Oh, where we at? Okay, we're here. All right, I drawed her in, and I'm on. on at 27. There she is right there. Since I already got her, her drawed in for you. She's right. You know, there was something else about this too. Hold on, let me let me come back and, and there's one of these that shows I think it's on the other one. One of these you turn upside down and it shows a, a half a reptilian. Okay, I think it's this one here. Uh there she is right there. Look at that, people. My witch-like woman. He's turned around facing her. Look. Right there. Google the image, and now that I showed it to you, I promise you that you will see her. Clear as day. Look at her lips. Look at her chin. She even got this line, the cheekbone line, just like any other one. She, she have a cheekbone line. Look at this, people. There's her eye. And all of it. People, I am not an artist, and I mean, it doesn't take no artist, artistic skills to actually draw this, per se. But, people, all I did was just mark over what is already there. Now, keep in mind now that there's another image from another part of the world that with a celestial object in space, but yet she appears the same way at the man. Now, I want to show you something else. Remember I told you that? There's a fish. Always the, 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 the fish is involved. Here is the nose of a fish. There's the there's the top portion here. Let me see if I can. Here's the top portion there. I'm a, I can actually draw on this. Right there. There's a fish. Fish's eyes up in there. And here's the mouth. And the guy's hand. You see the fish there? This whole part right here. This triangular part creates the nose of the fish and there's 
Let me make this line come back around here, around behind the, the mouth there. And can I get that? Right there. Okay. The guy's hand <clears throat> is in the form of a snake, a serpent. The serpent is shown going into the fish's mouth. I know what this means, people. Okay. The, the guy's hand, look at it. There's an eye there. And it, and it creates the head of like almost like a snake. Which is also another ancient symbolization that's used in Christianity. If you ever see their hands in it, this is what that means. It creates the head of a serpent. And I'll explain that later because that's in a whole other video that I'm going to use to um, to, um, to to decode a lot of these ancient um, biblical um, images that were created by ancient um, Renaissance artists and before. And this has a symbolic meaning. I can tell you what that means as well to people. Okay. And... Now, what else do we have here while I'm up, up at this here? Look at the guy's body. The anatomy of this guy's body. Look how strange and odd that looks. You know why? Because his body is encrypted with the genetics of that of the celestial life forms that travel to our world and this celestial egg. This seed. In the form of a, well, I guess it's in, in space it's called a meteorite. Meteorites, asteroids, these rock objects are seeds that are floating in space that are sent to our world to crash our planet to bring new life. And this is how we were created. So next time something falls out of space and falls into our planet, think about the life forms that it may actually be carrying because this is what this is all telling you. Now, and it also tells you where it comes from. Remember in my other video of my um, Carina Nebula discoveries, and I told you that they're in the, in the in nebulae, nebulae, gas, um, neb, um, nebulized matter, that where stars are supposed to be created, that there were life forms being created and sent out to other worlds? Well, people... This is an image of a star right here, right there. That's an image of a star. I'm telling you that this is an egg. Cut away seed. Cut away. People, it's telling you that from nebulae matter, where that these life forms are traveling from. People, I mean, what? I've done already made the connection. I've shown you the the Orion Nebula, the Carina Nebula Paranormal, the Crab Nebula, the Tri I'm Garin Tri I'm Triangulum Nebula. All of these nebulas, people, I'm showing you that there is life forms in there, and I can see them, and I'm showing them to you because they're almost in a picture-like sequence and form and sequential order. You got to see my videos on these people, Tiffany, and it shows you what's being created, what's being packaged. What's being packaged, people, in the form of seeds and eggs, and what is being sent out. Now, this is a place where new stars are supposed to be cre being created. Now, look at this. This is what this is telling you, this symbol. Where stars are being created, these seeds are being created, just as I told you in my videos. Where And, and this has been information that I have shared on my Alien UFOs channel, I think, some two years ago. People, it all comes together perfectly, and it's all recorded, and there's a record of this, and this is why, people, you see me all gassed up, because everything that I'm sensing instinctively, and I'm telling you, is all there. Look at this man's face, how there's three faces, actually two, well, actually there's three faces in one. Look here, the man is turned around, look at his white face right there, turned around, looking at the woman. Bring that eye together, that eye together, and a nose down the middle, and an open mouth, and look how it creates a whole nother face, an alien face right there. Do I need to draw that out for you people, or you can see that? There's the left eye of the alien-like face. There's the nose. There's the eye, which is actually used, um, created with this eye of this man, and then there's the open mouth. People, can you see that? Here, let me help you. Let me, let me, let me cover one face up so you can actually see I'll cover this face up right there. Oh, hold on, it's too much. Maybe I can take my pencil and cover. Cover this face up. And the other face is, whoa, whoa, right there. Come on now, this is upside down. Mouth right there, nose. And it create, they're sharing the same eye. Now, there's another face there too, but I'm going to show you something. Now, i got to bring you a lion, right? i got to show you a lion because there was a lion in the other picture. All right, let me give you the lion. 
Got to give you a line. You should be able to see the line there. Hold on. Hold it, hold it, hold it. I have to give you a line. People, it shows us, and and you know what? Think think on how and and, and um with Saint Jerome and and a lot of biblical with the with the images of Hercules. Notice people that the lion or the leopards and all of that stuff there, how they are all being um um commemorated in these ancient biblical um. Oh gosh, I don't know if I. Oh, here's the lion's mouth right here. It even looks like it has the, 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 the teeth there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create some teeth there for it. Here's the line. You know how that, that point in the line where the lion's mouth come And it comes around that creates that diamond shape right there. And we have the lion's eyes up over top of up over here. Can you see that without me going into trying to draw that upside down? See that lion's face right there in the man's body? See it? That's the face of the lion right here. There's the fish. Now, let me give you the ape. I have to give you the ape, right? All right. Let me give you the ape. Now, keep in mind, people, that we're dealing with the same thing that... Hold on. Oh, by the way, two people, I meant to tell you, that's one one face there's two faces together and then there's another one this is the you see this part right here this when you turn it upside down this becomes the ape but look right here this here becomes like almost like a um it shows you the transition of the ape into lighter man and then into white man and then it shows us uh, the um, um facing at the mother creation it shows the transitions of man and how we were genetically bridged how we evolved from that of black ape the black man and then white man that's what this is all about there's three faces there the faces of a black man right there and then a um, white man now check this out though and then there's a reptilian man that face that actually that I showed you that was half it if you look at it straight ahead it creates the face of the reptilian man so we have four faces you know like you ever heard of like the five faces of Shiva here's four faces here white man facing back this way um black man there's ape and then there's if you look straight ahead there's a reptilian man amazing isn't it and the ape creates the hair of this black person like right here here's the chin there's the mouth there's the nose and then there's the eye now people you have to go in let me see if i can let me see if you can see that right there. You can actually see the abnormality of the image now that I'm actually telling you this. Now, there's four faces there, and there may even be one more, but let me turn this upside down so I can give you the eight. Where we at here? Now, I've seen this eight real clear, and I bet you try for the sake of doing this video. Um, I'm going to show you something because this actually goes deeper than that. Damn it, I don't think I can get you that eight. You're going to have to Google... This image and, and actually pull it in because it's so small, people, that the ape, you see this darkened portion right here? The ape is right there. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to, let me see if I can get this up to, let me bring in some more light because I'm going to, I'm running out of time here. Uh, the ape is right there. I don't know if you can see it. Well, hold on. Right, right there in this darkened portion. When you turn the area up, when I say there, there's a black man there, the image of the likeness of a black man, right there with this upside down, you should be able to see the full face and, and imagery, images of an ape right there. Now, I can't, I mean, I'm upside down. I'm hoping that you can see it. Let me, let me try to shadow this out some right now with the light. You should be able to see a face of an ape right there. Right here in that little in the little spot, and I just actually showed you a similar thing on that dog in the um in my last video, all right? So, um, but look there, people, and there's an ape right there. That would be the mouth, I guess, the nose, and the head is up here. This is the top of the head. The face is upside is upside down in the in the man there. There's an eye. There's an eye. The mouth will be down here, and the chin of the ape will be down to the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna point you there. Go there. You'll find it. Trust me. It's there. Okay. Um, now, there's something else to be realized by this image. I'm going to have to get going because I'm going to go on to 40 seconds here. Back up from the image. And this entire thing 
creates the face of a reptilian. The entire, the entire image. There's the top of the head of the reptilian coming around. Check this out, people. There's the, this would be the, what, the left cheek? Yeah, the left cheek coming down. Check this out, people. And this will be the bottom of the chin, and it's showing you that it's spitting man out of his mouth. This will be the left eye. This will be the right eye, and it's showing you that this man's hand is snaking out of his face, off of his nose, and out to that of the shark. And that's where our reptilian man comes. This entire image, and if you back it up, let me see if I can either back away from it. The further you go away from it, the, the better the face is actually realized. It's a whole entire face inside of this egg. People, I have to go. Okay? Now, I don't want this video to run over. Now, this is probably the longest. See that face there? It creates a face and it lets you know. These images, people, these ancient images can be read. I can read them off cave art. I can read them from, if I can read them from here, people, you know I can read them onto space. A lot of those gaps and everything that you do not understand, it is actually all here. In fact, people, here's another face down here. There's the top of the lip, there's the mouth, there's the nose, there's the eye, and it shows you another face right there. See it? Upside down, the whole entire face right there. People, these likenesses and these faces can all be realized because, you know why? And they're all in Renaissance artist artworks, and it tells us who we genetically are, which is, has a high value and significance. Wherefore, that understanding who you are and who you, where you came from, is an understanding and higher sense of being and a sense of, of awareness. That I mean, I can't even describe the feeling, people. But I'm going to tell you something. It's better than. Than, than, than anything I have ever experienced or felt in my life and my whole life is actually um, contributed to this now and this is all I want to do I mean my life is dedicated to this alright so my name is Jerome Wright you're watching my Jeronification channel I'm Greg Go people and I hope that this will be the one that takes me viral if not what the hell I'll be here making videos until until that happens because I actually this is this is this is this is me people so you can still expect another video after this all right so my name is Jerome Wright you're watching my Jeronification channel um you can also catch me on alien UFOs and people everything that we believe in everything we have come to know I can tear away the building blocks the stones away from it all I don't care where it's at what continent it's on it can be in, in, in Arab it can be in Japan it can be in China it could be it could be anywhere it can be on another planet it can be in space I am linked to it all people and I can show you existences that that are that are blow you away now just as these existences are shown coming in from outer space I can show you where they were made I can show you other existences I can show you existences to other worlds and other planets based on these links because people, once you're on the trail, it's never ending. I can take this trail to other places, people. I can show us where we need to, where we can travel at in space, as I have once said before. I can show you what we can do to better our world. I can show you how we can change our climate. People, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. There is a higher knowledge and a higher gift and a higher understanding with all of this. My name is Jerome Wright. Thank you for viewing my um, Jeronification channel. Son, and that of our um, our atmosphere, well, our, our airspace, and um, and that creates where we are with um, with the UFOs. And if you think about it, it's, it's it's only logical for the simple fact that notice that UFOs from the earliest of times, from think about it, from since 19, um, the 40s, early 40s, and where we first started sending objects up into space, that notice how UFOs, the, identif the identification of UFOs, actually keep up with the times that they're in. I mean, like, let's just take a 1954 Chevy, for instance. I mean, if a person identified a, a, um, a UFO and that, and that what it was a 1954 Chevy. Don't we all notice that the the that object would actually look like in the flying in the, in the air would actually look like that 1954 Chevy? You see what I'm saying? In other words, the times we are in 
or the likenesses of the UFOs that are being seen, which actually lends to them to the fact that if our capsule that we sent up in space, and let's just say, I'm just going to throw a year out there, people, 1942, look like the capsule and I dream like cartoons. There's another, this image, and this image are very famous, very famous, and, um, and um, in the history of our planet and UFOs, which comes to um, our world. Now, let it be known to people that um, this here, by decoding these images here, um, the ones that I did um, with ancient biblical times, with Christ, um, the baptism of Christ by Gelder, and um, also the baby Giovanni um, with the Madonna, um, with that, and through to current, our UFOs sightings um, through to current. I have a video where I decoded that. I think this pretty much caps our whole ancient, or, or from our ancient past history of um, UFOs, unidentified flying objects, through to current people that I've identified what all of these UFOs are. I have every every single one of my videos here that references UFOs, and I mean I identified each and every object, so they're not and they're not decoded that mass in the um in the air above the um in that image. I've decoded that and I've identified what those objects are that is in that celestial mass, a circular mass that is above the um that image in um by um by Gelder, and in the um um the Madonna with the baby Giovanni. Um, that's a f another famous image that has a um, a UFO looking object up in the backdrop, and I've decoded that as well too. I brought that up. Those both of those images, those circular masses in the back and the um, that have been identified by as UFOs by the UFO alien theorists and other people, um, stated that these were UFO objects, um, unidentified flying objects. Um, I have identified them. And you can see those on my other channels, on my Geronification channel. I have, um, we're going over 100 videos now. So um, this is probably, I think, is going to be like my 101 video, um, which is absolutely incredible um, based on everything that I'm bringing to you and I'm finding and discovering. Um, now, in this video, this is, this is these objects which look UFOs no more. You know what I mean? So, um my last video with the with the um with the with the ufos were that um satellite images man-made objects in space um i'm not going to go into detail here but man-made objects in fate i'm um, in space um that are um in orbit with our planet um 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 space capsules um space um and fuel tanks um other and other space junk and satellites is my um position that the radioactive energy of the sun is reflecting images of those objects back through our atmospheric layer and our planet's atmospheric layers and creating a projector, an overhead projector like image back onto the um, cloud matter here in our in our air in our airspace and it's given us these these objects that people are now identifying as being um, UFOs and it's almost like a um, a reflective image, in other words, and the way that they take off from one direction and go in the other, and all, is my position that it's all caused by the um, the chemistry and the energy between the. Cell. Hello, everyone. I'm Jerome right here again on my Jeronification channel. Okay, and um, I'm gonna do be in this um video. I'm gonna be decoding two well-known and famous images. And um, you would see them a lot on um, where ancient alien theorists theorists actually have actually um, says um, this is evidence of um, celestial life forms which have actually traveled to our world from space, <clears throat> and um, and it shows this is showing how man traveled through space and all. Um, which I, I guess I have to give it to them that it might be that might be part true, and a lot of these images um, shown by our ancestors, cave drawings and um, ancient um, art, 
it shows how these objects here were celestial objects were actually a be in air like in um cry um the baptism of Christ by Gelder, um, which I declare.